morning and welcome to my holiday adventure thon vlog numero one um it is currently 8 30 in the morning uh day one of the holiday adventure thon and i have not read anything i tried to stay up till midnight it didn't work out and yeah i just ended up watching youtube videos and then go to bed which is good and then today i meant to get up at like six but i kept hitting snooze i have a lot of stuff to do today i have to finish my baking i have to go to the mail and mail sean's mom's gift hi Susie, if you're watching this and i have to film a bunch of videos for this week and next week like I have a video to go up today and I don't have it filmed at all so yeah I'm currently getting ready I'm doing my hair I'll do my makeup um so yeah no reading got done hopefully I will get to read sometime today I'm gonna start reading you were meant for me by Yonda Zealous McDonough and yeah so we'll see how the rest of today goes so we started today's part of the vlog in the bathroom and now we're ending it in the bathroom I am about to take off my makeup. It's like 10 o'clock at night. And today was an epic fail. The, probably the worst day of a readathon I've ever had. I got so stressed out about nothing today. Literally nothing. And it just was... Yeah, so tomorrow is hopefully going to be a better day. I got like 30 pages in to my You Were Men For Me book. I don't know how engaging that book is going to be. Sorry, Mom you got it for me but yeah so <sighs> we shall see I'm not I'm not doing good for team penguin so far not doing good hey guys so it's day two <laughs> of um, the holiday adventure thon and yesterday I just want to say was a complete write-off um, but today is a new day and I swear today is gonna be better I have read I have some progress um, I'm about 107 pages into You Were Meant For Me. Um, it took me a while to get into this book, but now things are kind of picking up. Uh, the main character really annoys me. Um, I'm not a big fan of the writing style, but I think I am going to finish this. But now, um, I'm headed off to the gym, and um, then I have to do some stuff around the house, and then I'll be reading. I'm not doing any baking today, and that, I think, is what stressed me out yesterday. So, yeah, update you guys later. Sadie has just made herself very comfortable there, haven't you, Sadie? Hey? I guess that's not where I'm sitting to read today? No, apparently not. But it is almost 3.30. I haven't read anything since this morning. I filmed some videos today. I went to the gym, had a good workout. And now I'm going to just sit down and read, I guess, for a few hours. My video for uh, Friday is uploading, so I have some time to myself. Well, good morning. It's just past 10 a.m., and I have an update for you guys. I didn't update you last night because I didn't feel like it, but I read last night, and I woke up this morning and read, and I am about 80% of the way through this piece of shit book. I have that much left. I'm hoping to finish it today. <sighs> this book was supposed to be about adoption and a baby being found on a subway. But it's about all these adults with what I think is a drinking problem. So I'm not enjoying it very much at all. Sorry, Mom. I know you bought me this thinking I would enjoy it. And there's a weird love triangle, and it's just not good. Not good. I Sorry, excuse for a book. Anyways, though, um, I'm hoping to finish it today because uh, we are leaving today around 3 p.m. to go visit my family for the weekend to have my Christmas with them. It's an eight-hour drive. It's gonna be a long night um we're gonna get there probably like midnight at the earliest and that depends if we get going right when we want to go Sean will hopefully get off work on time but I want to have that book done so I can start um, The Year She Left Us by Catherine Ma because I'm really anticipating that book. But yeah, to, on today's agenda, I have to pack all my crap, pack all the Christmas gifts, uh, kind of clean up the truck a little bit because we're taking Sean's truck, and I'm going to go get my passport picture taken. As you can see, I'm looking a little bit more fabulous than usual. Hopefully they're okay with this makeup, and I hope I can wear a turtleneck. But yeah, um, that's on today's agenda. I will update you guys later. So vlogging in front of someone, which is Sean, who I guess is a someone. I guess you guys have seen him. So we're, we're on our way to um, where I grew up in a small little town. Uh, and I just finished uh, this piece of shit book. <laughs> I gave it one star. It was not good at all. Ugh, crappy. And um, so because Sean made me mad before we left, <laughs> I uh, forgot a bunch of books on my TBR. And I forgot The Year She Left Us by Catherine Moss. So I took 
the T. Greenwood book, but I don't really want to read that because I'm anticipating that's going to be shitty. But for some reason, I grabbed Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This just came in the mail a couple days ago. And I guess I could consider this a contemporary, so I'm going to read it. And if I finish it, that'll count as my contemporary book. And yeah. Kind of mad I forgot the year she left us, though. I was really looking forward to reading that. But yeah, we're just going to continue driving for the next, what, seven hours? <laughs> Give or take. And I will update you guys later. Um, I'm about to wrap the gifts because I have not done any wrapping and it's like noon. I read like six pages of Far From the Tree. I think I'm really gonna like that book. Don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done today because this is like my family Christmas day. Bring people for dinner and then we might go out tonight, play Guards Against Vanity. So I guess we'll see how much reading I get done. Oh, and this lime green background. This was my sister's bedroom growing up and she had a thing for lime green. So yeah, that's why it's so colorful. have not gotten a personal update from me in a while and that's because I had two Christmases this weekend and I was doing family time and I did not read a lot but I had a good weekend and I did do a little bit of reading I'm on page 22 of Far From the Tree um, I'm really happy I'm actually reading this this seems like it's gonna be a really good book as for today we are just driving back to um, home <laughs> to stop in the city to take Luna to the vet though and do a couple other things so yeah, hoping to get a good chunk of Far From the Tree done today, but I feel like I'm not even taking part in a readathon because I've barely updated and I've barely really read, but I know I will do a ton of reading at work when I go tomorrow night, so yeah. She said hi, can you say good morning? Oh, <laughs> good morning guys. So it's day six of the holiday adventure thon and I'm ending this vlog here because I'm going to do two vlogs. And I just want to say I feel very incomplete with this readathon. I finished one book, but I did not read a lot over the weekend because I was busy. I did read a bit yesterday in the truck when we were coming home. I read maybe to page 50 of Far From the Tree. I also kind of want to rethink my TBR a bit because I forgot some of my TBR books um, when I went to my dad, so I was reading other stuff. But Far From the Tree does fit the contemporary challenge, so... Today is my day before work. I go to work tonight, so I have to film some videos for content while I'm at work. I have to pack. I have to get food together. I have to go to the gym. I have to take Sadie for a walk. I have a lot of stuff to do today. That's why I'm up so early. So right now, I'm hoping to do some reading and then do all my other shit. But yeah, this is the end of this vlog. Hopefully, this vlog is not boring, and I will see you guys in my next one.